Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I will capture the mountains and I will test two telescopes, the Dwarf 3 and the Zoom Telescope from Timu with a zoom focal length from 420 to 800 mm with the Dwarf 3 that has a focal length of 150 mm. The Dwarf 3, even if it has a shorter focal length of 150, it does have smaller pixels that compensate and actually they will get, I think, close in the results. So I want to show you how uh, well the Dwarf 3 will perform against the 800mm telescope or super telephoto lens with a Sony A7C full frame camera attached with an adapter. So we have 6 microns here on the Sony A7C. Now let's begin the test. We'll uh, turn here the Dwarf 3 towards the mountains like this. And we'll start imaging also with the Sony A7C. As we'll focus here with the manual focus ring, we already pulled up the tube like this to be at 800 millimeters, and now we'll start imaging. Also, we have a monastery there that will capture right after capturing the mountains. And let's begin. And we'll uh, use the live view here to zoom. Everything is manual here on the Team O telescope. Zooming is manual and focusing is manual, and we'll zoom by using the live view. We'll go lower shutter speed. We'll try find the mountains. We center the mountains, and we'll zoom with the focusing ring like this. Okay. So we'll check focus and start first the video capture, and then we'll take some images. And now we are ready to start. And in video mode, we'll press the play button and now we'll start also film start also with the door three and we'll capture these beautiful mountains so we will compare side by side begin so here we have the mountains at 800 millimeters we'll capture them also at 400 after and we'll also take some images so let's pen a little bit we'll pen in this test faster so we can see better all the region and the mountains at this focal length and after we'll pan also slower to see better the details. So these are the mountains with the zoom telescope from Timu at 800 millimeters. Look how beautiful, right? And on the other part, we have also other mountains, but there I think the snow melted. This, these ones here, these are lower, I think, and closer. And we have, I think, somewhere there a village. Yes, we have a, or a cemetery. No, I think it's, I'm not sure, on the screen now. Yeah, I think it's a small village. And I saw 100 and film again. And let's pan a little bit more. Have these mountains here in the center. We are panning now the zoom telescope at 820 mm focal length using the Sony 7C camera on a fluid head video tripod. And it seems even with this high focal length we are able to get some smooth panning. I do notice some vignetting in the corners and a decreasing contrast that I think is caused by the sync conditions. And combined with the quality of the optics limits the overall quality and contrast of the video. Okay, we'll zoom in now and we'll try to get better focus. Here everything is manual. We are recording them side by side with the door 3. So we start another video at the same time. Everything is on auto. Maybe we need to go a little bit darker, increase the shutter speed. Like 1 500, 1 to be similar or 1 400 to be similar with the door 3. Now we are taking another video 1 400 of a second. So here we are at 420 millimeters with the zoom telescope, and door 3 has 150 millimeters but smaller pixels. Now let's pan a little bit. Also at this focal length with the telescope that I bought from Timu, the $50 telescope. It's a $50 to $60, depending if you have offered 
if you get offer or not. And let's get all this all these mountains here. All these beautiful mountains. Okay. And I will take some images like this. Stop the recording. And we can see here the images without any post-processing directly from the camera. And I decided also to take a photo of the moon. Now let's continue. We capture now the mountains and we'll go now and capture that beautiful monastery called Rohia Monastery using the same setups, the door 3 and the zoom telescope. Okay, and let's see that the Rohia Monastery is actually here. Okay, so we'll film it this again and take more images. Now we'll stop and also take some photos. But as I mentioned before, we'll do it again. I don't want to film it also with the crop factor. Here we are using also the crop factor of the camera, still 4K recording, but we are filming much, much closer. When imaging with the 420mm zoom telescope, it had a little bit better seeing conditions. I did not have uh, some haze that was visible when imaging with the door 3. And here we can see at this focal length amazing details through this zoom telescope using the Sony A7. C camera and we are at f16 okay so now let's take some images and we'll go back and film the monastery after again we'll connect also to the door 3 smart telescope we can see here a video comparison side by side the monastery captured with the zoom telescope and the door 3 i have to say i was really impressed with the performance of the door 3 even if it has smaller aperture and focal length compared with the zoom telescope and the Sony A7C camera. Now let's continue and go capture the mountains. We are on uh, the door 3 smart telescope in the uh, smartphone live screen and now let's see the 4K recordings and zoom in to see better the details and the image quality of the 4K video recording. We are zooming in also on this uh, building where I believe uh, the uh, monks live at the monastery and we have several buildings. We have uh, a few churches uh, like the old monastery and the new one and we are really zoomed in here to be able to see better the details that the door 3 is able to capture. We had here about uh, 8 to 10 kilometers distance, I believe. Uh, yeah, uh, probably about 8. So the monastery was uh, not too far away from this uh, location. So 8 to 10 kilometers uh, distance and the views are amazing with both telescopes. Let's capture now the mountains with the Door 3 Smart Telescope. Let's take a photo with the telephoto lens like this and now we'll take also some photos with the mountains. We'll do the panorama after. We'll go video mode and capture the mountains with a door 3 smart telescope. Maybe we can go a little bit lower. Okay, and now we can compare also with the 800 millimeters focal length telescope. But we have a wider field of view here. Uh, we can see much more. Okay, everything is set it on auto and let's pan a little bit. Let's leave it for one minute and then pan and go slow. So we we'll start from here. From the tallest mountains and we'll slowly pan to the right and look at these details, just amazing. And now let's increase a little bit the speed. So we'll... Uh, film faster and see how door 3 will handle panning faster from the virtual joystick and it seems it did very very well and zoom in a little bit let's see wow so beautiful right zoomed in we'll stop and take a photo and we'll pan again but now zoomed in 
and this is digital zoom that you can uh, do it directly on your smartphone and the quality is just amazing and now we are also zoomed in more we basically zooming in the 4k video recording and this is another advantage of having higher resolution how nice right look on on the on the trees so nice so these are the tallest mountains we are panning now zoomed in so we can see more details okay so here we capture the mountains let's also tilt a, a little bit like this so we go also vertical and now it's time to test the panorama feature and let's go parameter and range go column and go six and let's see what we'll get the other panorama even if we can do panorama with the other setup and the telephoto lens it's much easier to do it with the dual 3 smart telescope we are doing another panel 6x6 six six. it's so fast with the dual 3 with the other telescope would have been much harder to do this and would take much more time we're finishing the panorama and we'll do also live stack and we are done and we will go like this find the moon finding the moon is very easy with the door 3 by using the wide field lens after that we will select the settings fast autofocus and start the live stacking feature and these are the panorama images captured with the door 3 smart telescope we have here all the mountains captured at super resolution with the moon visible in very good contrast. And I have to say the contrast looked better compared with the zoom telescope. Even if the 800 millimeters will offer extra reach and could give better results in some situations when you have good seeing. Here, uh, when capturing the mountains, we had an advantage for the dual 3. And it seems the zoom telescope, if the sync is not great, will not perform as well. We can see here the advantage of having superior optics quality on the Dora 3 Smart Telescope. That, when capturing the mountains, in my opinion, did a better result. Let me know in the comments what do you think. Now here we have the panorama suite, the Rohia Monastery in daytime and I've decided also to make first one in uh, the evening before getting to dark. This was actually captured one day before. I had to go twice at this location to be able to finish the test because the day was so short in winter time. Don't forget to check also my other videos with the DOR 3 smart telescope where I'm actually comparing with the same zoom telescope and the 10 inch Newtonian when capturing the moon. And there you can see also how in good seeing the extra focal length of the zoom telescope does help when capturing the moon. Door 3 is still much simple to use and it offers so much. By the way, affiliate links are available in the video description. Don't forget to hit the like button, comment, share this video if you enjoyed watching. And also join the channel membership if you want to support the channel more and want to get access to my astrophotography data. I want to give big thanks to all the channel members that are already supporting the channel. It means a lot your support.